Hey! My name is Alexa, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, how are you? In today's video, I'm going to be testing the IT Cosmetics CC Cream Oil-Free Matte with SPF 40 in shade Medium. The video I posted two days ago was testing the original formula, and I got quite oily by the end of the day, so I'm curious to see how this one performs. Later in this video, you'll see the application of this foundation, how it looks in natural light, how it looks in photos, in a flash photo, how it performs over a primer and without a primer, and I will check in in a few hours just to show you how it looks. This is foundation 6 out of 12 that I'm testing this month. Check out the description box and the pinned comment down below if you want to check out the other videos and I will also have all the product links included. So, more about this foundation, CC cream, whatever. It's full cover. I consider it like a foundation really. It retails for $52 at Sephora Canada for about just over one fluid ounce or 32 milliliters. There are 12 shades and there's only four deeper tones. And then in the original one, there were only 13 shades and there's even more shades of beige, it seems, in that range. I don't know if they just think that deeper tones are more likely to be more oily, but I think it's just kind of like, so let's go on to the claims. Now, this is originally designed for normal combination to oily skin. It has anti-aging skincare that helps make you look poreless, natural looking matte finish that lasts, camouflages skin imperfections including dark spots without creasing or cracking. It reduces shine and controls oil for up to 12 hours. Infused with charcoal to detoxify. I'm not sure if I'm gonna say this right, but colloidal clay to absorb oil, tea tree extract to combat blemishes, plus the regular slew of advanced anti-aging serum that they used in the original formula, which is the hydrolyzed collagen, peptides, niacin, hyaluronic acid, vitamins, and antioxidants. I'm so down for this. I'm so down. Let's do this, people. Let's give it a pump and a half. Oh, I forgot the primer. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I'm actually switching primers for the latter half of this series. I'm using the Stay Matte one from Rimmel, which is supposed to be for oil control, just because the other one was like a flawless one that was more for um, looking younger and not having things sink into your pores. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this side. My right, your left. Wow, I'm doing the wrong side too. I hope I don't forget this later on because I won't. This is weird. This mattifying primer says shine controlling, pore minimizing, hydrating feel, smooth skin. All right there, we'll see. We'll see there, Rimmel. <laughs> I'm going to apply on my non-primed side first while I let the primer sink in. Same story, buffing brush. I did brush laundry a couple of days ago and damn, I really needed to after this series. I'm so excited to see how this works compared to the last one because I was just an oil slick by the end of the video. You have to see it to believe it. Let's do the other side. The prime side feels really different. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this primer in this trial, but we'll see. I actually thought I had more oil control primers in my stash, but I really don't. Most of them are for pore filling, I'm not sure. And I don't actually go out and buy primers so much as I used to get sent them in the PR and they always seem to send me the pore filling ones. Maybe my pores look big in my photos. <laughs> I don't know. This is weird. I don't think it's the CC cream at this point. I think it's the primer. I think the coverage looks really good. I mean, obviously my skin is less broken out than it was when I filmed the last one. I'm gonna move on to concealer now. Just going to pop three and pop three right there and dab it with my fingers. Same routine, same concealer listed down below. Damp sponge. All right, let's see how this looks up close. Forgive my dry lips. Not bad. Not bad, if I do say so myself. I'm gonna put a bit of translucent powder and I will do my photos as I normally do. Um, here is a photo with flash versus a photo without flash. 
from my phone. Next we have some footage of me in natural light in front of a window filming and I will also snap a couple of photos. I'll do the rest of my makeup and then I'll see you in a few hours so definitely stay tuned for that. Hola que tal? It has been six hours and <laughs> whoa! <laughs> Can you see the oil? I can see the oil. All right, so I mean, it's definitely better than the original. I could tell you that right off the bat, but there is something here that is no bueno. And I think it might be the primer. Ah. And on this side of my face was where I put the primer, if you can recall. I really don't notice a difference between the primed side and the unprimed side this time. This was an oil control primer that kind of didn't really do the trick. The other thing I'm going to say is that on the primed side, I don't know if it's coincidence, but I've got some, uh, let me get closer so that you can see. I don't know if you can see this, but there's like an empty spot here, but I don't have that same situation happening on this side. So either there's a little bit too much foundation blended around this area or the primer had something to do with it because on my unprimed side, I don't have that issue. So I'm just gonna leave that up there for the foundation gods to deliberate on because <laughs> it's just weird, all right? I know I didn't like press down my nose and like suddenly print that. That's not really something I do. So that's, that's, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and blot, show you how much transfers. This time I'm using just a square of toilet paper, real classy here. ASMR. <laughs> I'm sorry, I watch a lot of ASMR, but I don't watch the mouth stuff because that stuff just like really bothers me. I won't judge you if you like the mouth stuff, but I don't like that, like, stuff, you know? That just doesn't do it for me. <laughs> All right, this is how much transferred. It's not really that bad. You know what? I think I just really don't like that primer. Things look cakier on the primed side and things just look better on this side, so I'm not going to use this primer for another foundation test. I'm actually kind of annoyed. I don't want to redo this test for the sake of that primer, I'm just not going to use it again and I'm gonna see if I can find something else or maybe I'll go back to the Elizabeth Arden. I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple of pictures now that I'm blotted. Looks pretty good. This is the primed side. I did that so you could see how crusty and like weird that inner nose area is. Okie dokes, let's take some footage that nasty side and then the pretty decent natural side. You know what? This is actually quite nice um, and I think it performs better after blotting so I'm not gonna knock it. It's quite nice. It Has it blown me out of the water? No. I mean I don't really use the CC cream because I want oil control. I don't typically wear it on days where I'm looking for that super full coverage and most of the time I will spot conceal pimples or blemishes or dark spots so that I can wear a sheer layer of foundation and just kind of be more comfortable throughout the day. If you have oily skin, definitely opt for this version over the other, but if you are an oily skin person and you love dewy skin, then Maybe go for the original. I mean, do you, boo? It is subjective how you like your makeup to look up to a certain extent. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next foundation review, which is going to be on Friday, and then there will be one on Sunday. Holy moly, I've gotta go film those right now. <laughs> All right, I'll see you then. Bye.